rock curve so welcome and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel or at least leaving a comment a like and uh, or sharing kindly consider doing that uh, at least to motivate me in one way or another so uh in order to 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 have uh, or to plot a rock curve you need to have your data already prepared in binary uh, outcome variable okay so my data is not in binary outcome variable um, but uh, i'm using this as a sample and uh, you'll perfectly understand this uh, this tutorial so please stay with me now to compute a rock curve you go to analyze analyze then you move down to rock curve you look for a rock curve where a rock curve is um, so down there down completely down here here it is here is the rock curve and so you click on this then this dialog box will pop up so as you can see here are the variables which i of course i did move them to the right but i can move them with you while you see okay so you can choose those uh, values uh, variables which you want to plot a rock curve for and move them to the right on the test variables okay so let's say we can choose two of them and we come here we state a uh, state variable move one to this side and normally this place here value of state variable is blank so the value is normally uh, coded as one so you put one and uh, you can you can you can test um, you can adjust options like cutoff values or statistics displayed under options here okay so you can you can adjust them according to your uh, according to your likes uh, according to your preference okay so i'll not touch this area and uh, and so here after filling this and uh, selecting the test variables and the state variable you are ready to go and click ok so after clicking ok the program now will plot for you again okay. the program will generate the rock curve now it will produce the rock curve along with the statistics such as the area under the curve eh, which indicates the model's discriminatory ability or higher area under the curve indicates better performance now here is the curve here's the curve here's the curve more data more data so that we we have uh, we have a clear curve so let me take you back let me take you back a bit then uh, analyze oh, sorry rock curve sorry rock curve sorry rock curve sorry I hope it's up okay I hope it's up okay I hope it's up okay I hope it's opening mm -hmm. so let's move more uh, to this one and then we click okay okay so let's see the curve that will be generated here i hope it's be, it will be that much more visible and much more visible yes here it is so here is the curve rock curve generated and here case processing summary and here are the area under the curve that i was talking about that describes what the curve is about now for the interpretation of this curve for the interpretation of this curve the curve should ideally hug the upper left corner of the plot indicating higher sensitivity and the specificity okay and the specific specific specificity okay the area under the curve quantifies the overall ability of the model to discriminate between classes um, and uh, depending on your specific application you might need to select a threshold that uh, balances sensitivity and specificity according to your priorities so here is the information and uh, they say the test result variable there are clear pathways so here they give you the results of these variables in this curve now sensitivity 